Hi guys and welcome back to Cats Part 2. <laughs> I hope you have uh, something ready to draw and this time it will be a bit different because last time it was horrible and everything looked like absolutely stupid. Um, I want to try and draw just two pictures of cats. Um, I chose the first one, you already see that one if you want to start painting uh, or drawing you can uh, if you want. I um, got that from pexels.com. This is not sponsored or anything, but they have like uh, pictures to use for free um, for personal and commercial use. And I don't know, you, you see it here. Anyways, I chose two cat pictures of this, and the first one is the one you see here. And I, yeah, let's just get right into it. I will probably take around five minutes for each drawing, so. Um, it won't be exactly five minutes, but I will take a look at the clock and if I think, oh, time, uh, five minutes have passed, I will go to the second one. Okay, so let's get started. And this time I'm trying to make sure that I'm actually drawing what I see and not what I think I see. Uh, I think I had a... Uh, I did that wrong in the last one. Even though it's still... Um, difficult for me so it doesn't need to, to look perfect it's just I don't know um, just to get used to the shape and to actually get some shapes of a cat or a cat like creature <laughs> and I really like this uh, photo actually the cat looks so cute so the eye looks a bit weird so it will look even weirder on the on the drawing I think I'm sorry I'm really trying to concentrate now <laughs> I think I talked a bit too much in my last video but yeah I hope that they won't look uh, that horrible I really hope I will improve a little bit um, so I'm a bit nervous about this I think we have two minutes left. Around two minutes. And I think it's also not too stressful or something out of your comfort zone to take a little bit more time than just two minutes. Okay, the year. left mm. 
<laughs> Cave at eyes. Looks a bit weird. And I think five minutes have passed, or around five minutes. So I will just put a little bit more details in it because I won't stress myself this time. Or we won't stress ourselves this time. Okay, um, yeah. Next one. I think what I find really helpful this time is to, um, firstly I changed uh, the, the brush that I used the last time. It was more like an ink, uh, more ink-ish brush uh, that already made like uh, dark lines and this time I'm using a brush that is more like a pencil so I can make very light uh, uh, brush strokes so or pencil lines. Um, and put darker ones after I think the shape is okay. I'm sorry, this time I'm really, really silent. But I think this time they actually look a bit more like cats. <laughs> I hope so. Oh, and I saw in uh, the last video uh, that a lot of you commented on how to say feline. <laughs> feline. Um, first time I saw it, I was like, what are we talking about? <laughs> and just, uh, just writing out uh, how it's uh, pronounced and I didn't get it. But after a few of you <laughs> actually wrote it down, I went, oh, they mean feline, the, the thing that I... Um, pronounced wrong but now I got feline okay I hope that is correct now oh I think uh, one minute or two minutes are left I wasn't actually paying attention <laughs> So it might be a bit more than five minutes for this one, but I'm okay with it. It's it's more relaxing this way to not stress about time. I'm not good with uh, with uh, timed um, drawings. I never was. I really hate it. Also in games, <laughs> when you have to do a certain task within I don't know five minutes or so, I it stresses. It's just stress. Uh, but yeah. I like to take my time. So, um, yeah, one minute left. <laughs> but don't stress yourself. If you want to take a bit more time, you can pause the video and just draw as long as you want. Um, but this is more for just getting uh, into or out of the comfort zone and getting it right this time and I'm happy I'm doing it like this this time uh. 
I really like cat eyes, so it looks so cool. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I should draw just cat eyes <laughs> with watercolors or so. Okay, I think the five minutes are uh, over and I should stop, but I can't. Um, so I will just. I don't know, it looks like the cat has a ponytail. Um, anyways, okay, so let's see what I do this time. So let's go to the first one. And this time it looks like a cat. I'm so happy. <laughs> when I'm drawing, I am not looking at the whole shape. Like I'm just looking at when I'm drawing the ear, I'm just looking at the ear to get it right. And especially when I am timing um, something like I don't, I only have like five minutes. Um, I just concentrate on one thing like the ear, the eye, the shape. But I don't see it as a whole. I only see it as a whole um, when I'm done. So this is actually, oh, wait. Oh, what did I do? Uh oh wait okay <laughs> I accidentally erased it um, yeah so this time I'm looking at it as a whole and it's okay it's not bad it looks like a cat and I think I really like the second one so I hope if you if you struggled last time I hope this time is a bit better and this it looks like a cat it looks like a shock cat I don't know what what it's looking at but it looks like a cat and I'm really really happy about it. <laughs> like this one is actually pretty okay for my standards because I am not comfortable with drawing cats and this time I was concentrating to actually draw what I see because I think that is a problem a lot of people have that um, especially when you draw something that is more in your comfort zone that you draw a line that you think is right but it's actually like when you're drawing from a picture you draw lines that you think uh, are right or uh, the shape of the eye you draw in it like you you think uh, is right or like you usually do it instead of drawing it like it is shaped in the picture and I've I have this a lot of times and it was especially like in um, last week's <laughs> drawing session I was drawing most of the lines not like they were in the picture but I, like I think they were um, so that was a problem so next week I don't know maybe dogs um, I think dogs are a bit more difficult because uh, between the breeds they look a bit more uh, different than cats like they're I know that a lot of uh, cat breeds look different like with some I didn't choose uh, long-haired cats or um, or what were they called? The ones that have no, um, that that are just skin. <laughs> what were they called? I think sphinx, sphinx cats. Um, I used to to uh, hate them. I, not really hate them, but I, I that wasn't my cat. But uh, and I still wouldn't ha want to have one. But actually, I find them quite fascinating <laughs> lately. I don't know why. Um, so next week, I don't know, maybe dogs or maybe something within the human face, maybe eyes or a nose or ears. I don't know. Mm, let's see. If you have any recommendations of what to draw next week, you can also write it in the comments if you want. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope this time it was a bit more helpful, even though it was very, very quiet. Um, but it, I hope that it was also helpful for you to draw cats again. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye.